Hello and welcome to the video for MeanStack.js for getting started. Uh, we're just going to kind of give a brief overview today of how to get started in a quick short video. We are currently uh, on version 0.4.3. I want to make note of that because as we move along these videos, the versions will be changing up until we get to our release version. So let's get started here. Uh, also, let's note that our documentation is always live at the wiki. Uh, read me and anything else in the documentation folder may be whether it is a couple hours or a couple days behind. Won't be far behind, but just so you know, the live stuff will really be on the wiki. So let's dig on down into the mean stack and getting started. For those of you who are uh, new at this or know even got a couple pieces under your belt of these technologies, this should be still straightforward either way. Uh, let's look at the prerequisites. So first is Mongo. We have all the links, if you go to the readme, for everything that Mongo, that we can get from Mongo that's supplied that uh, is really user-friendly instructions for whatever operating system you're on. So if you want to do this, this is a great way to download and install it yourself. There are other options. You can use something some, like something called MLab. Uh, it is a third-party vendor that gives basically database as a service, which is extremely useful, especially since they give out free sandbox databases. So you can log in here, uh, create a sandbox, and just put in the config folder and run with it, and it works great. And in one of the later videos, we will be doing that. For now, let's go back. Uh, you can also download and install Node straight from the site, and they've got good instructions too. Uh, a third prerequisite that's pretty uh, easy to install, but isn't necessarily isn't extremely necessary because uh, we do actually have our install script in MeanStack do it on its own anyways, but this is just a backup to have in case something goes wrong. So let's get started then. Um, let's follow this script. Uh, I'm gonna act as if I've already downloaded it since I have the version on my machine right here, but let's just change, let's assume I've already changed the directory and just hit npm install and here we go let's get it installed and for the sake of the video I'm gonna cut to the end and now we're gonna move on to the next step I've cleared the log let's go ahead and go with it I'm gonna run the npm start Awesome, so it's up running, and we can come over now to port 3000, give a good refresh, and you'll see everything's up and running. Got our login system. We could even go to the blogs, except it wants us to sign in, so we're gonna sign in. Great, and now it let us in. So cool, so we can easily get into the system. Uh, simple npm start, npm install, we're good to go. Uh, now, I do wanna note that I will be talking more about Mongo later, but I actually already had my Mongo up and running on the side. Uh, that's something that whether you want to check out the Mongo video or uh, use the third party vendor, it all works. So that's it for me, if you guys got any questions. Feel free to reach out.